Hey guys, Gruz here. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, and welcome back to yet another episode of my HyperCard show. This is episode three now. I can't believe I've done two of these already, but this is the third one. I've got five more stacks that I picked out that I want to check out with you today. I've got a couple of games. I've got a sound stack, and I have a stack that's full of interesting facts. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on those notifications so you'll know when I upload new videos. And if you enjoy this video at any time, make sure to leave a like on it to let me know. It really helps out the channel if you do that, so please do leave a like. Let's grow this channel together. Leave a like on it if you enjoy it. All right, well, I'm ready to play some HyperCard stuff. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. All right, so first up, we've got a stack called Sound Machine. Not to be confused with the Sound Machine app, that is not a HyperCard stack that lets you play all sorts of different sound file types. It's not that one. This one is a HyperCard stack that has a lot of different sound effects. And I'll tell you, sound effects used to be really cool back in the day. Like, it was rare that a, a game or app ha would have, like, a lot of different sound effects. So when you had something like this, you'd just click through each sound and just listen to them because that was pretty cool to hear that on your computer. This was created back in 1991 by Element Man. All right, so this is Sound Machine. It's got some, some good artwork here. Ooh. So yeah, it's got a lot of secret places where you can click, I think. So back in the day, it was like rare for apps to have a lot of sound effects in them because it would increase the download size of the file. No one wanted to sit there forever downloading files. So usually the apps and stuff wouldn't have a lot of sound effects. So stuff like this was super cool just to go through and click and hear all the sound effects. <laughs> oh jeez. So this is pretty wacky. You must click on my head to return to the sound machine. <laughs> look out for video store. Commercial stacks to run a video rental store. We gotta look for that one. Alright, so let's check out the sound effects. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hey, that's the built-in one. <laughs> Boy -oy -oy -oy. Ah. How many are on here? Oh wow. I bet there's a lot of good ones on here. Spam. Shatter. Ooh, I like that one. Did you laugh? Did you laugh? Ooh, that's ominous. So this doesn't say if you can actually use these in your own stack, but I would imagine if you would get something like this, you would go into the resources and pull out the different sound effects and use them in your own stacks. There wasn't like a big library of digitized sound effects back then, so a lot of stuff was reused on the Mac a lot. When I was a kid, I had a program called what was it called? Hold on, let me see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So this reminds me of something that I used to have back when I was a kid. I had this right here. It was called Kaboom. And it was just filled with sound effects. I'd go through this and just listen to each one over and over again. There's like a little classic Mac right there. And then there's a little PC. This, this works on Mac and Windows. But I had this when I was a kid. And I'd go through each of the different sound effects on here. It was so cool to hear sound effects like that coming out of my computer. This is cool. Spam? 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 
All right, next up, we've got a game called Hyper Memory. This was written by Hubert Figuier. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. He was 16 and a half years old when he wrote this. It's a memory game where you got to flip the cards and try and match them up. These are exceptionally challenging games to me because I have kind of a bad short-term memory. I am excited to check this out, though. Whoa. It was written on December 24th, 1991, as Christmas Eve, by French fellow Hubert Figuier. 30 cards are disposed on the game board. Click on the cards and they will reveal their figures. If the figures are different, the card hides themselves. What should you do? You just have to turn the 30 card, making the smallest score possible. Uh, I think it's just a matching game, so... Whoa! I don't know what that meant. Okay, so here we go. We gotta click one, and click another one. No, those didn't match. Whoops. Click one, click another one. And you just Whoops. keep, you just keep clicking them until you see ones that are the Whoops. same. Oh, there, this one and this one will match. Whoops. So I got one. No. Whoops. 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 Oh man, I am not gonna be able to remember this. Whoops. Oh. Whoops. Spinnerman. Whoops. Got another one. Whoops. Ooh, I did see this one. Where was it? Where is it? Here? No, that's not it. Whoops. 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 Man, my memory's so bad. I know I've seen this one. Whoops. I saw this one just a second ago. No, that's not it. Whoops. Oh, there's Atkinson without a mustache. I like Atkinson with a mustache. Oh, sweet. I'm going to get the trains. Whoops. There's a train right here and a train right here. Whoops. Dang it. Here's two right here. Got that one. Got that one, too. Got that one, too. Three in a row. Oh. Whoops. Is it just me or does that kind of look like Dan Aykroyd? There's not enough pixels to tell, but I think it is. If anyone knows who this is, let me know in the comments. There's Atkinson. There's the spinner. Ooh, we're getting close here. All right, here we go. This one, and then this one. There we go. All right, so this is Hyper Memory, a memory game for HyperCard. This is awesome. Next up, we've got a very violent stack. Viewer discretion is advised. Next up, we've got a stack called Bloody Animation. This one was created back in 1994 by Avars R, aka Was Up R. So in Bloody Animation, you kill one guy. It says here that you, you can kill him with the guillotine, axes, spears, and other ways. Was Up R says he's got a new version that's coming out as soon as he finds a good compaction program. He says here that the next version will have two, maybe three times as many ways to kill. We gotta check this out. Bloody animation. I'm gonna turn the speed down here because I have a feeling that this is going to run way too fast. We'll try 16x first. All right, bloody animation. Click here. You guys ready? Violence time. That was really fast. I'm going to slow it down even more. Let's just do 1x. All right, time to dismember your tools. We got the spears, we got the guillotine, we got the car compactor, and we've got axes. So it looks like this here is the victim. Poor guy. Anyways, let's let's kill him. Here's some spears. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? All right, let's try the guillotine. Oh, that's nasty. 
All right. All right, let's try the car compactor next. Oh, oh, it squished him. Did you see that? That's nasty. All right, the final way to kill this guy is with the axes. Let's try it. Oh, it's just like the spears. Oh, oh man, that's brutal. This is nasty. Bloody Animation 2 going online soon. We'll have sound and more ways to kill, including a revolver. I wonder if Bloody Animation 2 ever ended up coming out. All right, next up, we've got Trick Candles. Now, Trick Candles was made back in 1998 by Robert Jen. This is a different take on the classic game, Lights Out. Basically, it's Lights Out with birthday candles. It says here it's a simple puzzle game where you need to blow out all the candles. Every click toggles the selected candle and its neighbors on all four sides. All right, let's try some trick candles. All right, it's party time. So let's start a new game. I'm not the greatest at lights out, so I'm going to set this to level one, the easiest. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, that wasn't right. Here we go. Uh, yeah. 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 And yeah. Oh, no. Almost. Come on now. Oh, just making it worse. Oh, oh, come on. Man, I'm terrible at this game. Oh, I'm making this worse. All right, I need to start fresh. Already did 36 tries. Let's click this one. And let's click this one. That's a lot easier. Congratulations. May your wishes come true. Aw, how nice is that? Happy birthday to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so let's try level two. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. <laughs> oh, it's frustrating. Okay, I need a new game. Let's hit this one. Let's hit this one. Let's hit this one. Let's hit this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. No, no. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. Oh, this game's frustrating. Come on, click them all, man. How's this level two? All right, I need to try this again. This game really twists your brain. You got to contemplate each move carefully because it's so easy to make a disaster out of the situation. Try here. Try here. Try here. Try here. Try here. Ooh, we're getting close. Try here. Oh, try here. There we go. Happy birthday to me, my unbirthday. So, last up today, we've got a stack called Believe It or Else. 
This stack is a large collection of interesting and unusual facts. It says fun to get those facts to win bar bets and general entertainment. All right, let's check out Believe It or Else. Believe It or Else, new and improved. So we've got arts, history, religion, science, misc. Uh, let's check out arts. Might as well start at the first one. The Dutch painter Rembrandt spent the last 30 years on the brink of bankruptcy and died in abject poverty. That's too bad. All good portrait artists know that the eyes of a person's head are exactly half the distance between the top of the head and the chin. Ooh, look at this one. Beethoven was so unkempt that he used to urinate in a pot next to his piano. That's nasty. Look at this one. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci may have been a self-portrait made to look like a woman. Computer studies comparing the facial features of his self-portraits to the Mona Lisa show that they match. The earliest calendar, or device for measuring time, dated at around 30,000 BC, has a female figure marking every 28th day. The nursery rhyme, Ring Around the Rosie, derives from plague time, when flowers were used to mask the stench from dead bodies. Whew, that's creepy. More persons died during the influenza epidemic in 1918 than were killed on both sides during World War I in four years of battle. The motto on the first coin minted by the United States wasn't, In God We Trust, it was, Mind Your Business. In fact, In God We Trust was not put on coins until after the Civil War. Let's check out some science ones. The movement of electrons in a wire conductor move rather slowly, but the electrical impulse their motion makes possible travels along the wire at nearly the speed of light. Pure water is a poor conductor of electricity. It conducts electricity only when impurities are present. Thomas Edison did not invent the electric light bulb. The electric light bulb and the carbon arc lamp had been around for many years. Edison only made the electric light practical. Oxygen is the most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Silicon is second. The Earth's North Pole is actually the magnetic South Pole. The North Pole of a compass needle points towards the Earth's South Pole, which is the North rotational axis. The largest organ in the human body is the skin, and the largest muscle is the buttock. Buttock. Fingernails grow faster in the dominant hand, grow a fifth faster in the summer than in the winter, and twice as fast during the day as at night, and not at all after death despite the stubborn myth. Your brain weighs only three pounds, yet a computer with the same number of bits would be 100 stories tall and cover the state of Texas. I wonder if that's still true. The storage battery does not store electricity at all, but chemical energy. Chimpanzees are our closest animal relatives. Their DNA code is over 98% equivalent to human DNA. You may just say no to drugs, but your brain doesn't. It harbors a whole stash of drugs, including a natural morphine, a natural angel dust, a natural valium, even a natural alcohol. The largest cell in a human body is the female egg. More than half of all the stars in the universe are binary stars, stars that are paired with another star. Astronomers now think that every galaxy in the universe contains a black hole at its center. The $5 bill has the full names of 25 states printed on it. More info. Look at the back side of a $5 bill. The names of the states are written above the columns of the Lincoln Memorial. You'll probably need a magnifying glass. Hey, borrow me five bucks, man. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Paul Revere were members of the Freemasons, an international secret mystic fraternity. The highest temperature that a human has withstood for 30 minutes is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The tests were done in a large enclosed oven done by the Air Force. According to psychologist George Miller, the human mind can hold at most seven, plus or minus two, distinct items before its attention. Nothing in U.S. law forbids anyone from destroying coins in spite of a belief of the contrary. Defacing or mutilating a coin and passing it as currency is another matter. The ink on a dollar bill contains magnetic salts, probably iron salt, and is attracted to a strong permanent magnet. Henry Ford did not invent the automobile. The gasoline automobile was invented by Gottlieb Daimler. I don't know if I said that right. In 1889. 
Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer was the first manuscript for publication ever written on a typewriter. Approximately 20 million Americans use marijuana regularly. Its long-term side effects are unknown, but no one has died from marijuana use alone. No one knows how the great seal, the eye of the pyramid, on the back of the dollar bill got there. All right, let's do one more. A newborn baby has about 40% more bones than an adult. Wow. Nuts, man. So yes, this is, believe it or else, a cool stack filled with so many crazy facts. I love this stack. All right, well, that's all the stacks I had for you in this episode of my HyperCard show. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it to let me know. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do all sorts of videos here on this channel that have to do with classic Mac stuff. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on those notifications so you'll know when I upload a new video. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you soon in the next video. Goodbye.